Logan's going to talk a little bit about some of the ways uh, how we learn with through podcasting and blogging and how it's an Um uh, I used to not like writing, but now um, I do blogs and twi uh, Twitter and um, wikis and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, Mr. Nickel, I'm wondering if any of your students can talk, um, talk about their impressions of of these 10 and 11 year old students and, and what how they're taking charge of their learning how this because i know that you talk about the maker culture and we've looked it up a little bit we don't know a lot you know much more about it than we do but maybe if, is there anybody in your um in your class that would want to share some of that with uh, our class so we're starting with like i said a broad uh, concept of maker culture do it yourself like you guys are doing do it yourself learning um, and we're sort of branching out into the different um, areas of that. So we're doing culture, like arts and crafts, do-it-yourself um, clothing and different things like that. We're doing food, um, so organic farming. Um, I guess we're doing the 100-mile diet. Have you guys ever heard about that kind of thing? When we talked about uh, sort of the do-it-yourself learning, I did ask my students today, I said, what would you do um, if you didn't have a teacher? If I wasn't in here, would you still learn? And uh, the students, it was amazing because they said, yeah, we could because we could find it ourselves. We could look in textbooks. We could read books. We can communicate with each other. So I started looking at some of the, the uh, resources that, that they are starting to be able to use at this age, like Google Docs. So they can now start sharing documents back and forth. We just did a, a learned MindMeister today where they are now collaborating on mind maps. And I think that collaboration piece is it kept coming up with this maker culture idea because they need all of the brains in this room to make something work. So how is there anything um, uh, that you see um, where some of your students could help our students um, or if any of them are interested in coming up and, and actually teaching them some of these strategies on the or any projects that you want that anybody wants to do with us? One of, the, one of the things you guys could do is we have a blog that I'll send you the link to, Zoe, um, that if you guys have questions about the project we're working on or stuff, you could comment on there and then we can comment back and we can start a, an exchange. And also, if you guys can be on your blog sort of reflective about maker culture, we can incorporate some of that into our final project as well. And maybe uh, the group that's working on education specifically might be in touch with you to do some interviews for the podcast as well, if you got, if you kids would be up for that. Uh, is there anybody here that would be up for in, um, doing interviews for a podcast about this maker culture? And if, if put your hands up, you can see here. Yeah. Uh, is there is there anybody here that's um, in my class that is interested in um, creating a, a blog where um, Wayne's students and my students and you can collaborate back and forth on some ideas on how you can start incorporating some of these um, into our life? And I don't know, you can see, I mean, this is elementary, much different than you guys. But if you look at the very back of the room, I have the lights off right now, but we are learning about, uh, in grade six, we have to learn about First Nations and European explorers. And, uh, you know, when you go back to that time period, that it was all maker culture, right? They didn't have any other choice. So we're going to really try to incorporate, uh, especially when you talk about the 100-mile diet, I've heard of that. Good. Going to the market. And, and so we can start learning how some of those, that in that society, that with, with uh that time period, why they do, what would I like to incorporate maker culture ideas into that unit I'm doing, so. Cool. Okay, we should... Uh...